Hi, Jordan with Caster HQ, and in this video, I'm gonna show you the most simplified process on how to measure your current casters on your Carter equipment, whether it's a plate caster like this one or a stem caster like the one I'm holding here. And once you find those measurements, I'm gonna show you how to find those casters on our website as quickly as possible. And then towards the end of the video, we'll quickly discuss the characteristics and the features of different will material options that may be better suited for your application. Caster's our light duty caster. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and show you how to measure the overall plate size. Now to start the measuring process, you wanna measure from the short side to the long side and get those dimensions. We advertise this as two and three eighths by three and five eighths. Now if the overall size is off by a 16th or an eighth of an inch, that's completely okay. You will still know that you are in the right series. So from the short end, it should be two and three eighths. So we're gonna put our tape measure here and go over all the way across. And we are two and a half. So we're a little over two and three eighths, but that's okay. Then we're gonna measure long end. Now this side should measure three and five eighths. So we're going to go under plate caster like that. And as you can see, it actually says three and five eighths. That's three and five eighths right there. So that's an exact match on one end and then we're a little bit longer on the other, but that's completely okay. Now after you measure the overall plate size, and even though we're off, just by a hair on one side, but we're an exact match on one side, um, you can be about 95% sure that this will be an exact match to the current casters you have. Now, to be 100% sure, you can look at our technical specs and you can go off of the bolt hole pattern, which will give you a very accurate reading. And then it'll basically give you 100% assurance that you're ordering the exact caster you need. So one end should be measured one and three quarters. Let's get our tape measure. Let's find one and three quarters. And as you can see, if I put it, my tape measure in the middle of the bolt hole to the middle of the other side, it's one and three quarter. That's exactly where we should be. Um, now let's measure two and seven eighths slotted to three inches. So I'm gonna turn this over, a little bit easier to measure this way. Now we wanna find two and seven eighths slotted to three. I'm gonna put this in the middle, and as you can see, I am two and seven eighths. And I can actually scoot this over a little bit, stay within the hole, and I get three inches right there. So now you know that this caster that we advertise as two and three to three and five eighths is an exact match and the bolt hole dimensions is identical as well. So now let's go ahead and measure some larger casters. Now this next caster, this is our medium to heavy duty caster series. This wheel is our ergonomic wheel, um, but this has a four by four and a half mounting plate. So that's what we wanna measure. We wanna see if this is a four by four and a half. So we're gonna flip this over. So we're gonna measure from one end to the other. We advertise this as a four by four and a half mounting plate. Now, if it's a little off by a few fractions, not a big deal. We wanna get really close. So one end is almost four inches. It's three and seven eighths. So you're, you're close to four inches on that one. And then the other size should, side should be four and a half inches. And we're exactly at four and a half inches. Scoot that closer, you can see four, and then my half is right there. So we are at four and a half inches. Now that you know that this measures four by four and a half, we're very close. You know what series to be in when you're on our website. Now to be sure, we wanna measure the bolt hole pattern. So on a four by four and a half mounting plate, you should have a bolt hole pattern of two and five eighths to three and five eighths slotted to three by three. So first we're gonna go on the short side and we're going to look for two and five eighths. So two, and five eighths. There's two and five eighths from the, basically the middle right there uh, to the almost the middle here, two and five eighths. And then you want three and five eighths. So I'm gonna rotate this, make it a little easier. Let's look for three and five eighths. And if we go from one end to the other, there's three and five eighths. And if you go from the other side, the other edge, there's three inches which is slotted three by three to three, three by three. So you can see that the bolt hole pattern matches and the overall plate size matches what's on our website. So now you can go on our website and simply look for the plate casters with a plate size of four inch by four and a half inch. 
and you'll see our entire list of casters. Let's measure a stem caster. Okay, so here's a stem caster. We wanna measure the diameter and the length of the stem, and then we'll go on our website and be able to find that exact stem caster. So to start, let's go ahead and remove this nut if you have one on there. Ah! Okay. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna measure the diameter, which is the, the diameter of this, which is the width. So, get our handy dandy tape measure out, and to the other. We are right at half an inch. I know this is very hard to do while recording. And then we're gonna measure the length. This should be an inch and a half. We're gonna measure basically from the base, right here, where the threads start, to the tip. So if you just put your tape measure all the way and extend it, you'll see that this is inch and a half. So now we know that the width of this is half inch and the length is inch and a half. So now I'm gonna show you how to find these casters on our website. Now once you have the dimensions of your plate casters or stem casters, whatever they may be, go to our website at casterhq.com. You'll see a left-hand side navigation menu right here with different categories. Well, if it's a plate caster, you can simply scroll your mouse over plate casters and that'll expand a drop-down menu that has different overall plate sizes. So you can pretty much find the caster you're looking for by the plate size. That's the easiest way. Now, the first one we measured, we measured around two and three eighths by three and five eighths. Now you can just click on here, but if you already know the wheel material that you want to use, you can select this caster by the wheel material and even diameter to make it a little bit quicker. If you're not sure, you can just click view all and you can see all the wheel materials that are available and you can see the different caster configurations within those wheel materials. Once you find the replacement caster, you can go ahead and click on that replacement caster and you'll be able to see more specifications as well as technical specs. So the second photo actually shows you the plate size that we measured. So you know this will match to what you just measured. And then if you go down here, the technical specs, this will give you the diameter, the tread width, if you wanna measure the wheel diameter, the tread width, um, talk about the weight capacity, all your specs, temperature range, mounting plate size, bolt hole, attaching bolt, overall height after mounted, swivel radius. Uh, so this has all the technical specs you'll need. And then you can read about the material as well. And we even have a video on thermoplastic rubber wheels um, for this example. So pretty much any wheel material you go to uh, on our website, most of the time we'll have a video that will go into depth about that wheel material, to see if that is the best wheel option for your application. Now, if you measure a caster that's a stem caster, here's your stem options. There's different types of stems. There's friction ring stems, which I didn't measure in this video. They look like this. And then there's obviously the threaded stem casters that we measured right here. Now we measured a half inch diameter, but another really popular one is the 3 8 diameter as well. But half inch threaded stems, when you see this, that means it's a half inch diameter. And then you can just click on that page right here, and you're gonna see a lot of different wheel material options. And so once you find the wheel material that you want, let's say you currently have a hard phenolic wheel and it's a four inch diameter, you can click on that and you'll be able to see more specifications such as the, the diameter and the length of the stem. You can read about it a little bit on our website and you can click technical specs and have all of your technical specs as well. That also includes overall height, silver radius, weight capacity, temperature range, uh, wheel material and everything else that's included. And then there's also a video on the bottom of the product page that talks about that wheel type or that wheel material to see if that is a wheel material that might be best suited for your application. So on the right hand side, you can actually add top lock brakes if you want to add a brake and uh, then you can add it to your car to change the quantity. You can also view quantity discounts on all of our product pages. That'll show you if you buy this quantity through this quantity, you'll automatically save 5% and so on, so on, 10%, 15% based on the quantity. Now the quantity discounts are automatically calculated and applied at checkout. There's really nothing you need to do as long as you meet that minimum quantity, you will get that discount um, for those products that you added to your cart. And we also have coupon codes if you sign up for our, our, our newsletter and um, via email or text as well. 
But um, once you do that, you can basically add the items to your cart. Let's say you need four of them. We'll add four, add to cart. And then you can either go to your cart here or you can click the cart icon on the top right. And then once you go to your cart, um, here's where you can enter your coupon codes if you have one. And you can either pay with PayPal, Venmo, Amazon Pay, or you can proceed to checkout to type in your own credit card number. Once you do that, you'll still see the other options as well. Um, you can do four interest-free payments through PayPal if you'd like, or you can uh, use your own personal credit card. Um, and you can sign up right here with your email, or you can check out as a guest, doesn't really matter. And then you'll be able to see how much your shipping costs as well. That's calculated at checkout. Now, if you meet the minimum order uh, amount of $250, you'll get free shipping. You'll get free uh, FedEx ground shipping, and that's also automatically applied um, if you meet that minimum dollar amount that we offer on our website. So that's how you find the casters after you measure the mounting device, whether it's a plate, a grip ring, a threaded stem, whatever it may be. We wanted to make sure that we simplified it so our customers can easily and quickly find the exact caster that they're looking for by the plate size or the stem size. So if this video helped, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, make sure you comment below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. Thanks again for watching.